Hey folks, good morning. Welcome to my next video. Van Camp and Woody, my little buddy, buddy there right there. Um, well, we have made it to Port Berry and uh, I'm going to take a ride with my uh, uh, friend Bodane Dave. Bodane <laughs> Dave and um, Sassy Sue. So bear with us, see what we get into. We'll catch y'all on the other side. Hey, welcome back to this side of the video. Here I am with Bodane Dave and Sassy Sue in the back seat back there somewhere. There back she is. Here. You see where Nebo's at? He's gonna ride her shoulder back there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna go uh, check out some things around here. They're gonna show me around. Uh, I'm not used to being a passenger, so bear with me. I'll try to get the best videos I can, and uh, I'm looking forward to where we're headed to. So bear with us, we'll catch you on the other side. Folks, we have made it to BNL Seafood. What's the name of this town? Mamou, Mamou Louisiana. This is the beginning to, to my uh, crawfish bowl. Moudain Dave and Sassy Susan, they brought me here. Me and Evo have been riding. He's seeing what's going on. So, they go in and get the sacks for a crawfish bowl. Two big old bags, crawfish. They go bring it, they're bringing them out for them. It's a good deal. <clears throat> so we're going to head back to Port Berry, we're going to put them on ice, and then tomorrow, uh, when we're going to have a crawfish bowl tomorrow afternoon, some more uh, friends are coming in. So bear with us. Down there we go. All right, folks, well, we're heading back to Port Berry. Uh, I know your uh, Bodine Dave over here. He, he's the one in charge of driving today. And uh, Sassy Sue, she's in the back seat. Now, Dave has told me that if y'all happen to be in the area and y'all need a place that you want to lay over for a day or two, or even if you got some repairs, the repair shop is only uh, not even 100 yards away from where they at. But, um, you know, let them know. Uh, that you're coming and um, a good ho host, uh, great hospitality. But uh, I'll tell you right now, don't weigh yourself <laughs> before or after you come visit them, because they do they do a pretty good job bringing out stuff to snack on, eat, and uh, you know, uh, good old Cajun cooking. That's it. So, um, like I said, we're heading back to Port Berry. They they're gonna put the crawfish on ice, and tomorrow's when. Uh, uh, Chrissy and uh, Jim's gonna be here. Uh, uh, a little nomadic sister and brother that I spent time with them down there in uh, the Keys. So, and I'm gonna be. Uh, hopefully everything goes right. I'll be filming the crawfish bowl, how they do it. Uh, he got a great big old bucket. That's what I call it. A big old tub to he gonna boil them in. So, uh, so hold on, and we'll catch y'all on the other side.
Hey folks, welcome back to this side of the video. Well, it's the next day. We went and got the crawfish. Uh, we're going to have some other folks join us today. Uh, Crackling Pat, he's going to help out uh, with it. And uh, Bodane Dave and Sassy Sue, they hosting here. And uh, so we're getting ready to get things started, getting the cooking going. And uh, I'll try to show you all as much as I can. So you, you know, appreciate y'all hanging out this long with the video. So bear with us, and, we'll get, and they'll get things going, and I'll get a little bit closer. Uh, just as long as they don't put Nebo in the pot, we'll be all right. <laughs> so bear with us. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, folks, we're fixing to unbag the crawfish. Some people call them crayfish, crawl daddies, but we in Louisiana, what they call, Dave? Crawfish. Crawfish, that's right. <laughs> mud bug, crawfish. Mud bug, well, well, mud bugs for fishing. Crawfish <laughs> for eating. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, he's still alive. Check that out. Ooh, some big bammer jammers too. That's some nice. Yeah, there's some of them in that jam. Wow. Dude, man, that's young. That's good, huh? So why you take them out of bag and you and you gonna put them in water? But we'll put water in it and uh, we're gonna put some salt in it, John. Uh huh. Okay, that's why you put the salt in the water. Yeah, we're not gonna do it right now. We'll do it early. Okay. Okay. That's what they call purge. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Hold on, go on. Check them out. Ooh, gonna be belly up later on. Yeah, they will be. All right. Next, we go go back and we'll, we'll follow them as they water them down. Put the salt in. Then we're gonna uh, they're gonna start the vegetables and uh, they, like I said, they got cooked them first because they take a little bit longer. How long will these take to boil? Usually take about uh, seven minutes. About seven minutes. Wow. Well, all right, bear with us, see what else we can get into. And here's a pot they got over here. They're gonna be doing the bowl in. Who's me? Here you go, crawfish, bowl, and steam kit. Here's the season they're gonna be using, a crawfish, a carrot bowl, Louisiana. So they're gonna cook the vegetables first because uh, they take a little bit longer to cook, and then they're gonna do the crawfish last. So uh, here's, cra here's crackling Pat. Hey, say hey. Hi, Pat. Yeah. He get ready to fill the pot up. Yeah. Getting her go. We're gonna get it all going here directly. So bear with us. I'll get back with you when I get things going in the pot. There you go, Mr. Pat. He put in the season here. Louisiana crawfish. Uh, shrimp. Uh, yes, sir. Jeans or something here. Top of the line. You know, I can smell this smell. I'm over here for it. It really does. It's shame they don't have smell of it. Perfect. We'll soon keep bagging up the. They're just going to put it right down in there. They don't scare it. Sausage, onions. Uh-huh. Oh. Say hello, Miss Sue. Uh, hey. Yeah. Hey, Miss Sue. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Get that going. Get it going there. Yeah. Pretty good. That is delicious. Here we go. Oh, hello. Yeah. Over there, Dave, just showed me some milk they're going to put in just to kick it up a little notch right there. Zatarain, shrimp and crab ball. Concentrate. He said he'd give you $100 if you take a sip of it. <laughs> so that's the challenge here. <laughs> Come take a sip. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right, they're getting ready to fire up here. Oh, bear with me. I'd like to apologize. Did y'all hear any cracking in my video? It's this new microphone I'm trying to block wind. So bear with us. 
Now, I do not have the rights to the music you're hearing in the background. It's a local radio station. What'd you say the name of it was? KBON. KBON. They're going to do a shout out here too directly. So, some time of day. So, be listening out for it. There you go. He got her lit up. Right, and, and the heat begins. Woo-wee! Here we go. All right. Crackling Pat, he got it. Got her on. Now, now, now how many gallons is that, is that pot there? How many? 100 quart. Woo-wee! Sack of vegetables there. Loco. Stainless steel, it's got, it's got the uh, strainer in it. It's got a, a lip on the side of the, yeah. It's got a lip where you can hang it on. Yeah, the lid. Yeah. Hang it on the side. Hang it up and you, he gonna take the paddle here. I thought he was gonna get kinky with the paddle, but it's, it's to stir the, stir, stir some stuff up in here. So we don't show that kind of stuff here on the channel. So but it's getting ready to go. They're yeah, gonna put it, like I said, the vegetables in our, uh, first because they take a little bit longer. So um, when they do that, I'll come back on again. Here's my little buddy Nebo. Here he goes. Oh, the way, Kapasa, we're gonna have some crawfish today, man. Check it out. That's what we're gonna do today, man. I got here with the men, folks. There's nothing but estrogen up there on the porch, man. <laughs> <laughs> huh? uh, anyways, a lot of people think Nebo's a rat terrier. He's not. He's a deer head chihuahua. And this is a rat terrier here. They got a little bit more meat on them, about as tall. But Nebo's got uh, longer legs. And this is Sassy right here. And, and what's, what's her name? I forgot. Bella. Bella. Yep, uh, this is the mama to Sassy and to Mary Jane that's come, gonna be here later on. There he goes. All right, they're getting ready to add the water and the salt and uh, they're, they're doing it so they'll purge and get rid of all their stuff that's in them. Clean them out. Yep. All right, folks, we, we got our bowl in here. Cracking patch, gonna put the vegetables in. Well, it's a shame they don't have smell of vision.
the final thing the tray put together for me and everything. Crawfish, sausages, taters, corn. They made some special dip too. It's gonna work out pretty good. Whoo, mercy, here we go. Hey buddy, sitting outside on this in this beautiful weather listening to Kimbo. Good deal. Well folks, that's gonna be it on the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. That was a, a unique opportunity for me to see my first uh, crawfish bowl. It was very good. I mean it was spiced just right. I enjoyed every last mud bug I ate. Uh, the uh, sauces, the corn, and the potatoes were cooked perfect. You know, it was, it, 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 there was no complaints. Uh, uh, glad to see Jimmy and uh, Chris again. Uh, I spent time with them down in, in the Keys, and uh, they're on their way up towards Colorado doing their work camp thing. And um, uh, it, I, I can words cannot be express, or I cannot express the words of how grateful I am for. Uh, Bodine Dave and Sassy Sue's uh, for hosting the uh, Crawfish Bowl. Um, uh, great hospitality. Uh, you know, they uh, look out for me. And um, the, uh, even though I struggle to get around, you know, they, they still kind of keep an eye on me on, on how things are going. I, I, I am grateful for that. I try to surround myself with uh, like minded, uh, good hearted people like myself and, uh, you know, uh, trying to help a traveler out. Um, I say anyone's welcome to come here if they uh, are, are in the Port Berry area or the Lafayette, uh, Louisiana area, or if you're coming uh, outside of Baton Rouge. Uh, uh, there, um, uh, you know, just need a place, or if you need some work done, uh, there is a real good mechanic that's uh, probably about 150 yards away from where they're at, and uh, Jason. Um, he uh, did uh, did my breaks for me last time I was in this area, you know, and um, uh, he uh, he knows what he's doing. Uh, I, like I said, I just had a good time. That was pretty cool to get the shout out on the radio station yesterday. Uh, at the, uh, that radio station, I'll try to highlight it again if I can. But um, that's going to be the video. Hey, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit the bell notification let you know when I upload a new video I appreciate each and every one of y'all with all my heart I really do and uh, welcome to your new ones I'm humbled that y'all take your time to come watch uh, you know when the notif notifications come up and you come and watch and hang out with me me and my little buddy Nebo but Nebo's had a pretty good time too uh, it's all kinds of little doggies around his size. They're rat terriers, uh, which if you uh, if you've seen them in the video, they're a little bit bigger, a little bit wider than what Nebo is, and um, you can tell he's the smallest one in the group. But um, uh, he's having a good old country time too. So for now, y'all stay safe, stay healthy, keep smiling, treat each other like you want to be treated yourself, and uh, remember yesterday. Live for today and hope for tomorrow. We'll catch y'all on the next one.